All right, here we go. Back at it with some more. Trails of cold steel. Ugh, and I can't stop sneezing. Oh. Bonfire time. Hey, Instructor Thomas, thanks for the quartz, bro. Yeah, like the bonfire up at night. You never turn away from me. On this gloomy night sky. Oh, mother and grandfather are still here. My dad, too. And my brother. Though I can't imagine why. It's time to go home, B. Elliot. Crow. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. <laughs> you mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. Right, I thought Rain was about to kill him. Elliot Crow, thanks for everything you've done, but I gotta, uh, I gotta kill you because you're traitors. Rain just goes, like, walks away, and then the game ends and rolls the credits. And then that's why everybody was telling me, hey, you're gonna want to play the second game immediately. Because Rain just kills these two randomly for no reason. And you gotta find out in the next game. Nah. I got it's so I got so many stupid thoughts running through my head right now. Without the two of you guiding it along. I don't know what's going on. I wanted to make sure that you knew how much I appreciate you doing that. Damn, man, is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? Oh, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. Huh? You all helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together, playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Elliot. Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? <laughs> hey, Elliot, that's my boy. Crow. Your father's arms are hey. ready and waiting for you to leap into them. Can't relate, Crow. <sighs> Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Crow's the type of dude that'll just go onto a forum post see somebody like talking about their relationship or just talking about anything and if it makes them cringe he'll type out cringe <laughs> sorry i'll see you later okay yeah later cringing <sighs> this year's festival's been a blast i'm kind of hoping we can do the same thing next year too though who knows if Class 7 is even going to exist next year? Hmm. Crow? Oh, uh, yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation, but Class 7 is basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so who knows? I guess that has its pluses and its minuses. But no matter what, it's not going to be the same. We won't have you. If I manage to graduate, at least. <laughs> Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in class seven till the end of the month. Damn. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. Damn, we, he ain't gonna be in uh, Cold Steel too. Now that you mention it, yeah. <sighs> we'll have to see if we can throw you a farewell party around the end of the month then. Can't let you off easy. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. You better. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to have to call you Mr. Armbrust or anything after you graduate, <laughs> am Mr. I? Mr. Armbrust. I mean, we've spent so much time together that treating you like a proper adult just wouldn't feel right. <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna smack yes, you. Yes, it's about time <laughs> I gave you this back. 50 Mira, right? Is it the you same coin? This? Is it the same coin? 
That'd be crazy. I completely forgot about it. You've done so much for me since then. Saving Elise, helping with the concert. I still have my 50 mirror that comes with the game, so this is fun. Compared to all that, 50 mirror is nothing. It actually might be on my desk right now. Actually, it's probably in the other room. I don't see it on my desk. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. I... Oh, by the way... You're a scrub! You know there was interest on this, right? <laughs> How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Sharking, he out here alone sharking, bro. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. So, what do you say? You still owe me? I swear, the things I do for love. <laughs> all right, all right, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. 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 Turbo mode the darkness away. Dancing by the bonfire all day. This is a, isn't this a Japanese thing? Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame, like a starving man to a banquet, like beauty to me. Bruh. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Back for... Come now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. It's time to dance. It's time to dance. No need to worry about formalities tonight. You can dance Let's if you want to. relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. What? Sharon's gonna dance with this old man? Allow me, Sharon, before every red-blooded boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> <laughs> it would be my honor. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? Alyssa and uh, Alyssa and uh, Mock is about to be uh, brother sister, huh? <laughs> of course. Given that our former partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for my daughter. I can, however, ask you for the pleasure of this dance. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, he's just my type, too. <laughs> mm. Oh, just talking to myself. <laughs> you better take what you can get, Instructor Sarah. Not many men really like someone like you, but you well, better take this chance. I'll be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? Nope. It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon. Get down on it. I never expected to see Mother dancing. Just start playing some trap music and they just start... They start grinding on the, on, on the damn walls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> in some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. Hey, these slow pans, speed it up. Speed it up, hey, hey, bro, bro. Turbo mode. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everyone's having fun, though. Shall we join them? You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. Yeah, you're right, at least bye. And besides, <laughs> I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not us them instead? Someone else. Wow, Fee? I can dance with Fee, Emma, or Alyssa. A E F. F E A. Fire Emblem Awakening. 
Oh my god, it makes so much sense. <laughs> Alright guys. You can't pick the dance alone? I don't wanna dance. So we got Alyssa, we got Emma or Fee. You know I gotta go with Emma. You know I gotta go for I gotta go with Mama Mia Emma. I knew it. Laura wasn't even on there, bro. <laughs> I think when I, I had to at least hang out with them during uh, the uh, they had to be level rank five, link level five, and you had to use at least one ticket, right? Because I only use one ticket on Alyssa and one ticket on Fee. So. So I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's just a dance. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I will go ask her. I do feel kind of bad leaving you here on your own, though. I'm fine, really. Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Well, okay. They better not make me feel guilty. Don't make me feel guilty, Elise. God damn it, Elise! You're such an idiot. Oh, Elise. They out here trying to make you feel guilty for your not highness? taking your sister to dance. The generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be... More than accommodating. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine, honestly. <laughs> they're not related, though. They're not. They're, they don't have the same blood. Emma, if they ain't got the same blood, it's all good. <laughs> oh, Reen. I wasn't expecting to find you here. Oh well, I wanted to get away from all the excitement for a little while. How's your sister? She's just fine. Actually, she was the one who encouraged me to see you. This Oop. might not be the right time since you're trying to rest, but would you dance with me? What? What? Me? Yeah! I, I couldn't possibly. Yeah, you! I'm sure there are plenty of people you'd rather dance with or who are better dancers. Definitely not. Your popularity just went up after that goddamn concert. So I'm taking the chance to talk to you right now so we can get together so I can get even more popular too, all right? Before all these other guys come at you. So come on, let's go dance. But should <laughs> I take that as a no? <laughs> <laughs> you should take it as an I'd love to. Whew, that's a relief. Shall we? Let's dance. Oh my god, it's, it's Ren and Emma, they're getting down! They're dancing! Speed it up, though. Good job, Turbo Mode. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's still having fun. <laughs> it makes sense. This festival is practically the culmination of everything we've done since the start of the year. Like, we barely even know Emma. So, like, getting as much time with Emma as possible would be nice. I'm sure everyone has plenty of things they want to talk about with each other. You're probably right. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but keep secrets from all of you since we first met. See, this feels right, dude, because it's like you don't really know Emma, so it's like... You don't need to apologize for that. I'm getting all this extra info. It's not like you were doing it to hurt or trick us or anything, right? Of course not. But I still feel so guilty about having to do it. Even though we've spent so much time together, I feel like I'm not really one of you. That I don't belong here. That's not true. You do belong here. You're an important part of our class, and every one of us cares about you. Really? Everybody has their secrets. 
You don't need to share every little detail of your life for someone to understand you. But if you ever feel like your secrets are too heavy to handle alone, I'm always willing to listen. It doesn't matter what it is. Main character Reen will be there, ready to accept it. And whatever it might mean there about you. There you go. Look at Reen. Reen. Smooth talker, man. He's a smooth talker. I'm sure that someday I'll be able to tell you the truth. So, will you be willing to hold on until then? No matter how long it takes. Hmm. Thank you. Look at this damn cat. Celica. I mean, Selene. Celine Dion. Celine Dion is just looking at us. After that, I went back to see Elise. Magic moment, what's this about? Forged a strong bond with Emma. <gasps> do you Do you have to do this for every character in the game to get platinums? Oh my god! <laughs> God damn! Good luck with all those playthroughs, my dude. Good luck with all them playthroughs. Oh my god. Technically, you could probably do it if you have a save before. If you have a save before the festival, that's actually worth doing. But god damn, dude. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go for the platinum trophy for this game. This one seems ridiculous. <laughs> this seems ridiculous, bro. Green? Elise? Not saying it's impossible, but man. Hey, it's Claire. Claire? What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, here? Captain. You must be exhausted. <laughs> well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. What up, Claire? You trying I to really dance? I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumnus. Oh, she went to this school. Wait, what? You're a student here? That's right. I was part of the Academy's 216th graduating class. That was last year. And since you'll be part of its 221st. Oh, five years. I suppose that makes me five years I thought it was the 17th, the uh, 217th. I, I had no idea. Why didn't you mention it until just now? Given that we only ever met while you were on your field studies, it didn't seem pertinent. Besides, once people graduate, they tend to leave their ties to their school behind. Especially here at Thor's. Because it's a military academy? Exactly. Roughly 40% of the graduates here go on to join the military. Mm. Not always the same branch or even the same army. About 30% join the Imperial Army and 10% go to a provincial force. Students who are best friends one day might find themselves enemies the next. Oof. Is that gonna happen in the next game? Rain. Oh, snap. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your happy mood like this. Yeah, Captain Claire. Captain Mood Killer. But I'm sure you're well aware of what may lie ahead. That we're teetering on the brink of an era of upheaval. I'm aware. Um... Does this have something to do with the issues in Crossbell I've been hearing about? Yes, amongst other things. It seems as though everyone on the continent is ready to go to war with everyone else. Damn. But that's why it's so important that we're able to stand strong no matter what happens. Though, judging by how well Class 7 has performed on their field studies, I'm sure you'll all be fine in that regard. <laughs> Here's hoping that I get the chance to help you out again sometime. Even if I'll have to be careful not to draw the ire of that instructor of yours while I'm doing so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad to know that you have her back. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're quite well. Pick up the phone, Please, Claire! Excuse me a moment. We're going to war right now! Yes, we need you! Yes, speaking. Mm-hmm. What? What's going on? And you're certain of this. Understood. I'll return at once. Oh, yes. snap. I will escort them back to Valflame Palace myself. Oh, snap. I'm afraid I have to excuse myself. She didn't <sighs> even say anything. <laughs> See ya. Time to go home. People getting blown up. Your brother just died. Your half-brother died. I'm sorry. I see.
What, what's up with this music? What's up with this Jumanji music? I'm really sorry, Elise. My brothers requested that we return to Heimdall right away. But as we're going back by car, I thought I'd offer you a ride home. But, but... Elise, I think you should go back with them for now. I'll call you later to make sure you're okay. Well, all right. Sorry to drop this on you so quickly, Reen. I'm sure someone from the Academy will fill you in shortly. Uh-oh. Fill me in? On what? If you'll excuse us. Don't worry. We'll be sure to get Elise back to the Academy safely. Ah, uh, here it goes. We got all, we got all the history. Now, now this this is when the real start, when the the real plot happens, right? I saw how you went up them stairs. That didn't look right. You like elevated. it. <laughs> Rain. Rain. I need Does anyone have any idea what's going on? I'm afraid not. I've never seen father behave like that before. My mother's the same way. She got a message of some kind and just changed. They all just droned out. Ditto my father. I think it was someone from Heimdall who got in touch with him. One thing is certain. Something terrible has happened. My dad turned pale and was gone before I could ask what happened. It sounded like he received a report from Instructor Neidhart, though. Hold on. Neidhart's supposed to be... And the base. Gorelia. He was at Gorelia Fortress with the 4th Armored Division on some sort of mission, right? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Toa or Instructor Sarah? Hey, y'all kids just got drafted into the next world war. I'm sorry. I gotta Students let y'all go. Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. I'd be mad, bro. Wait, oh damn, man. I was trying to get lit tonight. I had like five more hours in me to party. Hey, man, I bought all this weed, man. It ain't, it ain't about to go waste itself. <laughs> I got all this alcohol. But I am <laughs> afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial government that this evening, Gorelia Fortress, which rests on the Whoa. eastern border of the Empire, has been destroyed. God damn! Gorelia Fortress has been destroyed? That huge ass fortress? No. Destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from existence. God damn! <laughs> it's been erased from existence. I would ask that all of our <laughs> guests, from that region or otherwise, please try to remain calm. Yo! They said a new, an unknown weapon. Bruh. They got Gundams too. <laughs> dude. Saturday, dude. I know, I know that week had to been like depressing. In the following, in the days that follow, tension gripped the nation like never before. Damn, what the hell? A photo of a gaping chasm left where Gorelia Fortress once stood made the Imperial Chronicles dude. And the set of the aftermath was enough or aftermath was enough to fill the citizens with a sense of inescapable dread. Yeah, that'd be fucking dreadful. Alright. All the while, unconfirmed reports that several armored divisions had attempted to invade Crossbill had begun to spread. And in every one of those reports, the message was the same. They've been repelled almost effortlessly. Damn! Erebonia was starting to feel the effects of the IBC's asset freeze, too. Oh, and things didn't look good for the economy. Aw, shit. As things stood, it was only a matter of time before we faced a spike in corporate bankruptcies and record unemployment. Faced with the crisis, the Imperial government and the off, uh, officials in Heimdall began working to remedy the situation. Rumors were also spreading that Erebonian's longtime enemy, the Calvert Republic, had thrown his weight behind Crossbill. Y'all, y'all was sleeping on Crossbill like, it ain't nothing gonna happen. Crossbill ain't gonna do nothing. Crossbill ain't shit. They ain't gonna do nothing, man. 
they just, they just, they ain't gonna do nothing. And with, <laughs> and with the fortress that once served to safeguard the Empire gone, many speculated that an invasion was only a matter of time. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Oh no, dude. What's gonna happen, bro? Bro, look at these kids. They depressed. They depressed as hell. Ah, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Where is she? Homeroom was supposed to start ages ago. Oh, real angry Machius is back. Long Beach at Machius. I'm not surprised she's late. The instructors are probably all busy trying to figure out what to do. That seems more than likely. This morning's meeting has already blown past its normal ending time. It's still hard for me to believe all of this is really happening. Having been there, the idea that Gorelia Fortress just vanished is difficult to comprehend. That is pretty ridiculous. Not all of it, I heard. There are still some parts left and almost untouched. But Instructor Neidhart making it out of there alive was nothing short of a miracle, though. Those huge railway guns were part of the section that's gone, too. If I hadn't seen the pictures, it would be kind of hard to believe. What kind of weapon is even capable of doing something like Bruh. that? I find myself doubtful that any human could create something so powerful. We just don't know. All we do know is that it's impossible to make a weapon that powerful even with today's most advanced orbital technology. And yet here we are, with just such a weapon in the hands of what's always been seen as a mere vassal state. The Imperial Army has their work cut out for them, I'll say that much. I'm worried about what's going on in the capital, too. It sounds like there have been even more demonstrations going on there these past few days. Down with Crossbell, they say. Point our guns towards the east. Is there even any truth to those rumors that Calvert's planning an invasion? I'm pretty sure it's all nonsense. But considering how there have been tensions between us and them for years, people are just more inclined to... People are about to get trigger happy. People, people gonna be just... Oh, man, you know that's gonna create some kind of anxiety and people are gonna be like, oh, man. Oh, let's make a move before they make a move on us. Let's go kill these fools before they kill us. Rumors are just that. <laughs> We need to be careful not to be misled by half-truths and speculation. If possible, we should find out exactly what's happening for ourselves. Yeah. Over the year, we've seen how things are across the Empire with our own eyes. And now's as good a time as any to put that knowledge to use. <laughs> well said. We've had quite the education in getting to the truth behind all the headlines. That seems to have been a running theme of most of our field studies. Still... We seem to be missing two of our illustrious members. Well, there's nothing strange about Crow's habitual truancy. And Millie? Or did he already transfer back to his original class? No. He said he was going to be with us through the end of the month. As for Millie, though? You don't think it's something to do with the intelligence division, do you? I would imagine. Well, she is an agent of theirs. It's kind of easy to forget that, given how she usually it does concern me that none of us have seen her. Sorry to Damn. keep you waiting. Just kicked open the door, Sarah. I see. Oh, instructor. Where's that humor, Sarah? Are we starting homeroom? Not today, I'm afraid. All classes have been canceled. You can either stay here in the building and study until school's out, or go back to the dorm. So, wait. Has something happened? Not yet, but it will. Uh -oh. Chancellor Osborne's going to be addressing the nation from Dreykel's Plaza at noon. Oh shit. It's set to be broadcast across the entire empire. A national address? Sounds pretty serious. And given the timing. Indeed, it's not hard to imagine what's on his agenda. Come on, guys. Straighten up. You're students of Thor's Military Academy. And that makes you all cadets. Whatever careers you choose, military or civilian, you need to know how to act decisively in an emergency. So right now, I don't want you to look away from what's happening in the world. I want you to face it straight. Y'all okay. just kicked one of the, like, biggest shadows. Y'all dodged nukes. Y'all better face this straight. You're right. 
Now's not the time to lose heart. That's damn right. As for Osborne's speech, apparently we'll be setting up radios in each classroom so the students can listen to the national address. You know it'd be real funny if Osborne got assassinated live on television. So if you want to follow along, be sure to be back here by noon. The blood chancellor gets killed live? I suppose I might as I well listen blood? to it here then. Same here. I don't even have a radio. I do, but for something like this, I'd rather not listen to it alone. <laughs> well, then we can all share in the joy of hearing the melodious voice of our esteemed chancellor. See, dude, I, like, this is... I don't want to stop playing, dude. It's 537. We got time. We got. We still got until 7. Maybe I should haul in some beer and snacks. That's the only way I'll stay sane through the entire broadcast. Mm. Mm. What should we do about Crow and Millian, though? None of us have seen either of them all day. Do you know where they are? Can't say I do. Crow's practically made a career out of playing hooky. <laughs> but I did see Milliam earlier this morning. Oh, so she's still on campus? At least that means she wasn't called away by the intelligence division. Hmm. I'd been thinking along those lines, but when I asked her, she just shrugged and said, No news from the top! I doubt she's wandered off too far. Yes, but lest you forget, she excels at giving us the runaround. At least it doesn't sound like she's in trouble. We're probably worried over nothing. We'll just have to tell them we're meeting here at noon if we run into them before then. Yeah, we will do. No news for the top! Ah, ah. <clears throat> I guess everyone's going to check in with their clubs. Looks like I have some free time. Might as well see if I can track down Crow and Milliam. I have free time. It sounds like Milliam is probably somewhere on campus. Crow, though, he could be anywhere. Probably best to check with Toa and George first. Maybe they know something. They playing this super chill music. They're trying to kill like any dread, any sense of dread. They're trying to kill with this sil uh, this chill music. A fragile flower such as myself cannot be bloom on the battlefield. Perhaps it would be wise to return home while I still can. No, I cannot let my chance for a faithful encounter with the perfect man slip through my fingers, even through war. Hey, man, smash while you can. You won't be able to smash for long. I find myself worrying about how the children are taking all the news of late. Sister Ornella seems awfully worn out because of it. I will at least be able to provide some solace to those who are suffering. All right, let's just find who we need to talk to. We got work. I got work in about an hour and a half, but I want to play this game and see what happens. I still can't believe there's a weapon out there powerful enough to level Gorelia Fortress like that. I didn't think you could get much more powerful than those railway guns. Yeah, having seen the railway guns in person, I can hardly believe it myself. There are rumors that whatever that weapon is, it's managed to fend off the armored division several times, too. Still, I can't help but wonder what the Chancellor's gonna say in his national address. Whatever it is, I have a feeling that it's gonna shake up some things around here. Who knows? We might even see active duty. Even as an engineer, I doubt they'd make an exception for me. Damn. Could be that my lazy days tinkering with horrible bikes are numbered. Oh, don't say that, George. Well. No point stressing out too much about the future till we're there. I didn't mean to be a downer about it. Go on and listen to the broadcast, but don't worry yourself too much. What about Crow? This country may go through a lot in the coming years, but ultimately, we have a say in our future. That's a good way to look at it. I don't want to look away from what's happening. We have to be aware of our present to take charge of our future. But anyway, you wouldn't happen to know where Crow is, would you? He hasn't shown up to class today. Crow? I can't say that I do. He came by yesterday with a box of things he borrowed from me, but he never mentioned having any plans today. Dang. Anyway, I'll keep asking around to see if anyone else knows where he is. Well, knowing Crow, he's probably just wandering around somewhere. Just keep looking around and I'm sure you'll run into him. Will do. My, bo my boy got recruited into a Jaeger Corps or something. <laughs> hey, homie, uh, see your grades ain't good. You know you ain't got no life after uh, school, right? So uh, you should just join the army, son. Let's see, uh... Let's go to the academy field to talk to Alyssa. I got some lacrosse practice would uh, help clear my head, but that's not going so well. Weapons only lead to the creation of more weapons. 
I take it you're wondering whether all of this happened because the Rhineford group built those railway guns. I can understand how you feel, but none of this is your fault. You know that, right? We didn't even get to see the railway guns in action. I'm a little, I'm a little relieved that the railway guns are gone. Sorry, I shouldn't have. There aren't any easy answers here. All we can do is stick together as a class. And listen, take heed. Absolutely none of this is your fault, understand? You're independent of the issues surrounding your family and trying to shoulder that burden is pointless. Thank you, Ferris. I feel relieved just to hear you say that. Well, I only say that for my own sake. How is one supposed to focus on when arrival is so visibly uneasy? Yeah, so you say that. You says, why are you all here riding dogs? I mean, horses. There's a high likelihood that the Chancellor's speech at noon will exactly will be exactly what everyone is expecting. I'm rather uncertain how my fathers will react to the reformers going and starting a war. You haven't been instructed to go back home yet, have you? Okay, I've seen no word from my father. That just saves me the trouble of having to decline. But that also means it's unlikely I'll be able to get in contact with my brother for some time too. Your brother supports terrorists. He supports terrorism. 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 The only person I want to hear is what Emma thinks. Meow. Meow. Of course, she has unique dialogue. Marine? Hey, I mean, wasn't expecting to find you here. You got Celine here, too. Well, she just kind of made her way up here. I was just giving her a little attention while I took a break. Are you looking for a crow million, I take it? I have no idea where they even start. Those two are always up to something. I'm sure they'll run into him eventually. Good luck in your search. Is something bothering you? Well, it's about Crossbell. I'm concerned about any weapons that could annihilate a fortress the size of Gorelli, of course. I'm also more concerned about the whole sequence of events that led up to that. It almost feels like something's like something's hand is guiding all of this to happen in a very specific way. Hmm. I wonder if this has anything to do with whatever she's been keeping secret from us. Don't let it get to you, okay? I think maybe all the novels I've been reading lately have just made me paranoid. Nah, you raise a good point. One worth keeping in mind, I think. Anyway, I'll catch you later. As soon as I find Crow Milliam, I'll head back to the classroom. Alright, I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. I'll wait for you. Make sure to make it back in time for the broadcast. Oh, snap. Alright, uh, we need to go to the library? And then the old schoolhouse, apparently. My dude's gonna steal that... He's gonna steal the Gundam, man. I'd be real mad if Crow's in the old schoolhouse stealing the Gundam. What's Crow doing, man? I'm scared. Maybe, maybe Milliam's trying to steal it or something. Somebody's, somebody's gonna trade us, man. So, there's gonna be a traitor. We haven't seen a traitor yet. So I'm expecting a traitor. Why am I in the library? Who's in the library? Why did they tell me to go to the library? An exclamation point. Oh wait, I think it's on Toa. Oh, the exclamation point is on Toa, not the library. Hey man. Now I completely understand why you guys sell weapons at the cafeteria. I need to buy everything. I need to buy everything. <laughs> Try to feel safe, cuz. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Toa. Oh, Reen. I figured I could find you here. Yep, the student council will be passing out radios for every classroom. So I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. Are you guys planning on listening to the Chancellor's statement too? Of course. How could we not? He's supposed to be addressing the entire country after all. Yeah, whatever it's about, it's going to be something big. I don't think anyone could have imagined the relationship between Crossbell and Erebonia going south like this. I sure hope Angie's okay. What with all of this political turmoil right now. Toa. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm the student council president. I need to stay focused on what's going on right here, right now. Angie would laugh at me if she could see me getting distracted over her anyway. <sighs> That's right. We've got to focus on getting through this. 
Still, don't try to take on more than you <laughs> As soon can as handle. I look to the right, the, the, the chat to gets new. If you need it. Oh. Will do. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah. Why were you looking for me in the first place? Oh yeah, right. Milium and Crow. I almost forgot. Do you have any idea where Crow might have gone? Crow? Hmm. Nope. I'm afraid not. He didn't mention that he had to go anywhere when I talked to him yesterday, at least. Was yesterday the last time you saw him? Yeah. He was giving me back some of the stuff he'd borrowed from me since graduation's getting so close. That was nice of him, but then he gave me everything he borrowed from Angie, too. <sighs> it's only polite to give back the stuff you borrowed in person. Now it's more work for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very crow thing to do. Well, I'll keep asking around and find out if anyone knows where he's gone. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, but make sure you're back in your classroom by noon, okay? Of course. All right, let's get out of here. Finding out what's happening in the world, man. The world's crazy, man. The world, we live in, we live in crazy times, man. We live in some crazy times. <laughs> we got mysterious weapons blown up full. Blown ass Area 51 locations. Like, don't go to Area 51. Y'all, y'all seen what happened to Guerrilla Fortress? Don't go to that. Don't go to Area 51. That's exactly what's gonna happen, bro. We gonna... <laughs> Area 51 about to get like infiltrated. Somebody's gonna steal this unknown ass weapon and blow up Area 51 and scare the whole world. <laughs> bro. This is crazy. This is this part of the game is why is it is so good? And I'm mad because I shouldn't be going to I should have to go to work later, but I am because I'm so nice. <laughs> I'm mad, dude, because I think I want to play Cold Steel 2 ASAP. And it's like it's not even at the ending yet, dude. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened here in the old schoolhouse ever since that night. We kind of ended up pushing it to the back of our minds. What with the way things have been going in Crossbell. Huh? Oh my it's god. Unlocked. I wonder if someone's already inside. George is in the engineering building right now, so it can't be him. You know who it is. If any of the students just idly wandered in here, they'd be in real danger. Boy, he's trying to steal that tech. I should probably take a look inside. My dude is a case. sleeper agent. Crow's a sleeper agent. I checked agent. around inside of the old schoolhouse, but there didn't seem to be anyone around. Not even a sleeper agent. But all the same, I didn't want a chance leaving anyone down there. So I decided to check the seventh floor. Make a different file, him. Hmm. I don't I I don't make a different file. Just make a different file. That's Millie. Milium? All right, good. Oh, Reen, come to take a sneak peek too. Whew, I was scared. I thought Crow was gonna be down here doing something he wasn't supposed to. <sighs> Is this where you've been the whole time? You do know we have class, right? Oh, dang! I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> That's pretty important. Honestly. I just forgot so about class. What's My bad. Your interest? It doesn't look like this thing has anything in common with Aragetlum. Hmm. I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that it might, at least a little. Not the same, but like they share some kind of underlying principle. I've got no idea what you're talking about. I guess you wouldn't really understand without being connected. But now it makes sense why Gramps asked me to keep an eye on this place, though. I had no idea there'd be something this cool down here. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Chancellor Osborne? Did he know there was something like this here? That's crazy. I'm not really sure. He just asked me to keep an eye on the building itself and said to let him know if anything unusual happened. Uh-oh. Whoopsie! That was supposed to be confidential. So, the Chancellor has an interest in our quaint old schoolhouse, does he? For power! I did just find out that Captain Claire is a Thor's graduate, but... Hey, what you thinking about? Say, Milliam, was investigating the old schoolhouse the reason you enrolled at the academy? Mm, well, sorta, but it was more of a side thing. There was a more important reason, but that kinda stopped being a concern. 
So I guess it's just this now. Something more important than this? Not sure what she's getting at. Doesn't sound like she's trying to hide something important from me, though. Oh, yeah! It's almost time for Graham's speech, isn't it? I guess I should head back and listen to him drone on. Oh, so you already knew about that. I'm trying to get in this Gundam, though. We were all planning to listen <laughs> in the classroom. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to slash people and shoot people with a Gundam. Sweet. Hold up. I'll just listen with you guys, then. What are we waiting for? I wonder Let's what go. the name of these ma machines are going to be called. <laughs> Nothing keeps you down for long, does it? Archaisms. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen Crow around anywhere, have you? Huh? Nope. Is he cutting class, too? Well, he's probably just hiding out somewhere on campus. None of the others have seen him, though. I wonder if he went into town. Huh. Maybe. Wanna try looking around, Trista? I'll come with you. Sounds like a good idea. If he's not on the school grounds, chances are he's somewhere in town. Train station. All right. Let's see if we can find him. All right. So apparently, I'm getting the I'm getting the uh, tip from somebody who's played this game nine thousand times. If you stare at it long enough, you'll activate a secret cutscene, and Ring will get in the robot, and then you unlock the secret ending. And right. I'm just playing. Rin doesn't even agree. He knew I was bullshitting. <laughs> All right, here we go. The end of Ev Evangelion. <laughs> what if the game ends? Right? Right? What if the game ends? On the credits, right? It fades to black. It slowly fades to black and stuff, right? And the credits just start to roll. The credits just start rolling. A mecha shows up and it fades to black and this just starts playing. What if... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dude. I still I've never seen Evangelion either, so I should make I should make an effort to, to watch that. But anyway, um let's get let's get back uh looking for Crow. Alright, so Crow is in Trista somewhere. Well let me just go to the front gate, I guess. That'll trigger a cutscene. Look at this janitor. Don't let yourself get too nervous. Every last one of you is a valuable part of this academy. Them old geezers with broken legs like, Yeah! I ain't gotta go to this war. <laughs> ah, yes. It don't matter to me. Okay. So are we gonna track down Crow? Might as well. I guess we should start with the dorms first. Maybe Sharon knows where he's gone. Okie dokie. Hell, Sharon probably helping this dude. Walking around town with him. Straight to class seven. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see either of you back so early. They told us we can go home Hello again, Sharon. We're back! <laughs> oh, it seems all of your classes have been canceled today. I heard from Lady Sarah that you would be remaining on the campus, though. Well, that was the plan. Say, Crow hasn't been back here, has he? Master Crow? Well, actually, he just returned a short while ago. Ah, they get some stuff, right? Oh, he did? Indeed. However, I don't believe he stayed long. It seems he was here just long enough to go to his room, then he left again. Sounds like we just missed him. Maybe he forgot something here and came back to pick it up? I don't know. Should we check his room just in case? Yeah, might as well while we're here. <laughs> well, if you need anything, just let me know. <laughs> Time to go check out Crow's room. Time to go check out Crow's room. It's empty, baby. Hmm, looks like he did go out then. My dude left all his books, though. Still, don't you think his room's awfully tidy? I mean, for Crow. Well, he was supposed to be moving out of here fairly soon. He must have been doing some cleaning. 
Anyway, it's almost noon. I guess we just have to head back to the classroom empty-handed for now. Yep, it's almost time for Gramps' speech. Still, I wonder where Crow went. Yeah. There's nowhere else around here I haven't checked, is there? The trying station. The trying station. Alright, is there like a secret thing I can get? Because it seems like he kind of hinted at maybe checking out like a, a, a certain spot. It seems like, oh, uh, is there any place I'm forgetting? His hentai was gone. Like, they didn't notice that. His poster... <laughs> This poster is gone and looked awfully clean, dude. This dude's at the train station, I'm telling you. Station? I wonder if... Anton went and fell for that pretty maid, which comes to no surprise knowing him. And just like always, he, he spent the past week too scared to actually tell her how he feels. Just given everything that's going on, we're heading back to Liberal for now. Come on, Rekka, you gotta understand. That lovely lady picked up even... Took the time to hand deliver that handkerchief to me after I dropped it. There's no way I could leave such an important treasure behind. Hey, dude. There was like a stupid... Y'all didn't notice that? Here we go. First, Corellia Fortress gets annihilated. Then Crossbell declaring independence effectively cuts the railroad in half. It's been exhausting to deal with all the changes to the timetable these past few days. I can only imagine how much all of this has impacted the running of the railways. Especially the transcontinental railroad not being quite so transcontinental anymore. Well, fortunately for us, running more trains on the Kreutzen Main Line has been enough to avoid too many problems at home. Unfortunately, we've got no idea what's going on in Crossbell. <laughs> yeah. We haven't heard anything from Lecter since he went there either. That doesn't sound good. I'm just investigating, dude. It just, it just made sense to go to the train station the entire time. I hope he's okay. Oh, he'll be fine. It'd take more than they could muster to kill him. <laughs> anyway... We should probably be moving along. It doesn't look like Crow came through here after all. Oh, you're looking for Crow? Come to think of it, I thought I saw someone who looked like him. It was about an hour ago. An hour ago? Oh. Really? Well, I didn't really get a good look, to be honest. There were a lot of people milling around in the station, and I wasn't exactly looking for him. Hmm. I guess that's another lead that ended up going nowhere. It's almost time for the Chancellor's speech to start. We should get back to the Academy. Okay. Aw, oh, damn. So he was here an hour ago. Son of a bitch. I thought we had found him. I thought we dead ass found him, dude. Hold on, let me look at something real quick. We had to watch his bonding events. Oof. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I had to I had to watch the I had to have bonding events and I couldn't like pick and choose dude. <laughs> I couldn't pick and choose. I, I had to pick and choose. I had to pick and choose. Oh, it's you. Who's that? Oh, it's Patrick Lowe. Patrick, what are you doing here? I thought you would have gone back home. Well, we don't have any classes today, so I was just resting in my room. Sure. I've been told to return home repeatedly at this point. But as a member of the Four Great Houses, what dignity would I have were I to turn tail and run home at a time like this? Remember the Four Great Houses, that's right. Don't underestimate me, Schwarzer. Oh, wow. Wouldn't dream of it. Is Class 1 planning on listening to the National Address, too? We are. Personally, I can't stand the man, but we are in the middle of a national crisis. Those of us who elected to remain at the Academy are having a radio set up to hear the broadcast together. Ah, uh, right. You've got some strange classmates, though. Especially that second one. Oh, he saw him? I know Heimdall's not all that far from Trista, but I'm not sure why he'd bother going to hear the speech in person. What? what are you talking about? That crow fellow. I met him outside the station this morning. Interesting. Oh, 
He didn't tell you? When I inquired, he said he wanted to hear the Chancellor's speech in person. Huh. I wouldn't have expected him to suddenly take an interest in politics. Well, at least we know where he went now. I guess that must have been Crow in the station earlier after all. Hmm, seems like it. I haven't a clue what you're babbling on about. Anyway, it's almost noon now. Shouldn't you be running along? You'll miss the broadcast. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's get going, Milliam. Everyone else is waiting in the classroom. Okay. Uh... I can only think of, like, really bad outcomes. But I think we're going to save the game right here, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with perhaps the final episode of Trails of Cold Steel. So I'll see you guys very shortly for the finale of Trails of Cold Steel 1.